Hi, this is Dave Clayton, Research Director at ARC Advisor Group. Today I'll be discussing the Manufacturing Execution Systems, or MES, market with Janice Abel, Principal Consultant at ARC and Primary Author of ARC's recently published set of MES reports. We will be discussing how manufacturers can use modern MES solutions to turn real-time, mission-critical production data into actionable insights across the enterprise. Thanks for joining me today, Janice. For the audience's benefit, could you tell us a bit about your background covering the MES market for ARC and a little about ARC for those not familiar with us? Thank you, David, and thank you to our audience. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are in the world. My name is Janice Abel, and I've been an analyst for ARC for over a decade. Prior to this, I spent over 26 years in the process in hybrid industries, and at ARC, I'm the lead analyst for MES and operational historians, our industrial data platforms. I've also been focused on other related markets like manufacturing intelligence, analytics, batch management, the digital transformation, and other related technology. I've personally been involved in the MES market for most of my career. I also have an MBA and a master's degree in chemical engineering. At ARC, we're always uncovering new and interesting things, even for older technologies like MES, also known as Modern Manufacturing Operations Management, or MOM, and Manufacturing Execution Systems. The MES market is changing, and it's also growing. The information for this webinar is a result of our recent market research, MES for the Discrete Industries Market. ARC Group has been focused on manufacturing and operations for well over 30 years. We have been collecting data and researching the MES space for well over two decades, and we have data and trends to support this. We do many studies for this market, the MES for Discrete Markets, which is the subject of this webinar. We also do an MES for Process Industries Research Report, as well as the Supplier Selection Studies and many other reports. We find the market for MES to be different by industry, particularly when you look at the process versus the discrete industries in MES, which is why we separate the reports. So today's discussion will be focused on the MES market for the discrete industries, and it's based on information from a recent report that we completed. Thanks, Janice. Maybe we should start by helping the audience understand how ARC defines the MES or MOM markets. ARC defines MES as the operation software that sits between the shop floor or the production plant and the IT or ERP and business enterprise systems. MES closes the gap between IT and OT and is also a key technology for the IT-OT convergence movement. The software enables connectivity between all the data collected from the automation systems and other data systems, as well as the sensors, the machines, the robotics, and more. And it manages and executes the process. MES includes applications that enable workflow, execution, they manage intelligence, including the visualization, it schedules and plans, and it manages quality. MES applications will vary by industry and also by supplier. And most importantly, MES integrates the data from the shop floor to the top floor, whether it's from data system sources or the cloud, the edge, data lakes, or data warehouses that often were seen as silos in the past. Today, we see data available on spreadsheets, even on people's laptops. But the interconnectivity and interoperability that MES office brings all of that data, information, intelligence, and insights together and enables manufacturing flexibility, execution, tracking, and improves and even optimizes operational efficiencies. Thanks, Janice. In your research, what are some of the key benefits manufacturers have cited from their MES or MOM investments? There are a number of benefits or reasons that customers are investing in MES solutions, but I'll just focus on four benefits that are shown on this slide. So one big benefit is around the industrial digital transformation or Industry 4.0 and all that that entails 
particularly around the dealing with increasingly complex processes today, and the ability to make faster, actionable decisions with the data. And the MES is growing, and this is largely due to the fact that new features and capabilities are being integrated into modern MES software. So one focus for the digital transformation is operations. And MES, of course, is a key technology for production improvements, and this has been a huge driver for MES adoption. These new technologies that are being integrated and even built into MES solutions are making the technology even more compelling because the benefits are increasing like the use of more advanced analytics in AI in MES, or like the use of digital twins in production, or even some of the ways that plant visibility is improving uh, with newer digital dashboards that have human factor engineering that make user experience much better than in the past. So one of the key benefits is MES's ability to use, analyze, and give data insights from the increasing volume and variety of data sources, like the data from newer IoT sensors, or, or even robotics, or smart machines, or even sources like weather and financial, for example, that are used in production. And all of these benefits drive the need for newer MES solutions with newer, more flexible technologies that can make it easier to integrate and, and interoperate. The digital transformation aligns well with MES's ability to improve efficiency and reduce costs, which are also shown on this slide. MES improves product quality and enables users to get the products to market faster, and this helps justify purchasing MES technology because it reduces costs. Today it's about producing high-quality products faster and cheaper. And everybody knows that. MES enables faster time to market, which enables users to produce newer, more innovative products. And manufacturing is a key technology today for many companies to remain competitive. And there are other, many other benefits for MES as well. And these are covered in our research, but the overriding benefits are the digital transformation, MES's ability to reduce costs, and make products with higher quality, improve efficiency, and innovate with new products and features faster and more efficiently, which enables users to be able to compete better and ultimately stay in business. And most importantly, MES can optimize processes so that products get to market faster. And because we're seeing a lot of enhancement in, in the software tools for MES, and, and because the software is getting easier to use, Modern MES is enabling users to be able to use this information to optimize their processes in ways that they never could before. Now that we know some of the key benefits that MES investments can provide the manufacturers, how do you think they can get the most out of their MES small investments? Well, there are a number of key strategies for MES from the research we did. I just selected a few of the strategies from the report. To get started, users should start by investing in newer modern MES solutions with newer technologies and better connectivity or easier connectivity and interoperability, and also that enable enterprise-wide or plant-wide interoperability and connectivity. Invest in MES solutions that are easily connected to all of the data sources and, sil and even silos so it can be extended to enterprise-wide visibility so that users can get actionable data-driven insights easier. So one way to do this that we're seeing a lot of users do is they're starting with pilots and learning from the experience that they're getting. And we're also finding that as they roll it out across the plant or even across multiple plants and even across the enterprise, the benefits increase exponentially. But one point many people point out is to remember that while it's important to roll out your successes, it's also important to learn from them and walk away from any failures quickly. So look for solutions that have easy to use tools such as advanced analytics, even beyond what we're seeing today, the OEE and SPC, but also look for predictive analytics. And we're even starting to see investments being made in AI integrated or embedded into the MES solution. So look for solutions that address the user experience with human factors 
that enable enterprise-wide visualization with easy-to-use tools that have the ability to standardize applications, but also customize for specific processes. If people have access to easy-to-use tools, they'll use the features. Some newer visualization features include augmented and virtual reality. We're also seeing digital twins being used to simulate the process and combined with the physical attributes of the process with the digital world. So use software that's easy to implement, flexible, and simple to use because the MES will enable innovation and faster time to market. The software tools can be used for data-driven insights and it ultimately will lead to better decisions that increase productivity immensely. So one thing we haven't discussed yet is, how can ARC help these manufacturers? ARC has a lot of information that can help you, and we can help you get started on the digital transformation for your MES solution, or we can help you in your journey in terms of the technology, people, and processes. We have a lot of expertise and an in-depth understanding of the industrial market and suppliers where it is heading, and supplier capabilities. We have lots of different types of data depending upon your needs, like growth rates in our discrete markets include automation, aerospace, defense, electronics, machinery, medical products, plastics and rubber, semiconductors, and a few other industries, which we differentiate by leading suppliers and regions. We also have regional charts by leading suppliers, opportunity charts by deployment, various attributes, around MES, like the information, supplier service revenues, deployment types, customer tiers, sales channels, and so on. You can use ARCS data to help you understand the market technology and suppliers in your industry. And we, we can help you understand the market better for your industry. And we can also include the data with our market research and our MIRA tool, which allows you to analyze the data even further. We have a supplier selection report and criteria charts and tools that review functionality can help make the supplier selection and assessment process faster and smoother. And the tool is designed as a collaborative tool to improve the entire technology selection process. So let us help you. Thanks for sharing your insights with us today, Janice. This concludes our presentation on the MES for the discrete industries market. Audience members who would like more information or have questions about the research should get in touch with a client manager here at ARC or contact the author directly at jabel at arcweb.com or myself at dclayton at arcweb.com. Thanks for your attention. And have a great day. And remember, please feel free to contact us if you have any questions or are looking for more in-depth analysis of the MES or MOM markets. Take care.